everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to manage your storage if you are running out of storage or if your phone doesn't um offer that much storage and how you can manage that and minimize that so my phone only has 64 gigabytes but i've been working with it for like what two years now and i've learned you know a few tips and tricks here and there to manage my storage and i thought i would share them with you guys so here are three tricks that I found really useful that you guys can also use to manage your storage. So the first one is using Google Photos and saving all your photos to like Google Photos. And I think Google Photos is such, it's like a lifesaver. If you don't use Google Photos, you should. So here's my Google Photos. I have all my photos saved in Google Photos and i you can then delete them from your camera roll and it stays backed up over here and it gives you 15 gigabytes so over here as you can see i've used almost all of my all of my storage but it also gives you the option to buy a hundred more gigabytes for two dollars a month after a one month free trial which i'm thinking about buying because i'm running out of storage and i think i think this is really useful i was introduced to this by my friends and it's, it's like literally a lifesaver. I keep all the important photos that I would need in my camera roll, but there are still, the other photos are in Google Photos and I can just save them anytime I want. Okay, so I think I've said, I've talked about this next one, but um, something I also use is Pinterest. So I think I've talked about this in one of my videos, but basically you go onto Pinterest and you just make a board over there. Okay, let me show you how, it's, how I'm going to do this. So first you're going to make a board and I just named my board personal photos. You can name it whatever you want and you can also add collaborators. So you guys, so you and your friends can, you know, everybody can post on there. But um, I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. So first I post a pin. I just take a photo from my camera roll. I'm going to post these types like the photos I take of the sky that they're, they're not that important so i'm just gonna go ahead and post them on insta i mean pinterest sorry and you know they stay there you can delete them from your camera roll and i think the board looks very aesthetic like say you go to the beach with your friends you guys can all make a little board and post all the photos you took there and then you have your own aesthetic pinterest board and obviously you can go ahead and download it to your camera roll whenever needed but i think this looks so aesthetic like if that's the type of vibe you're going for I think it looks really cute and I've actually used this hack a few times before I got lazy. So I actually like this hack and I'm just gonna, you know, post a few more of my photos onto Pinterest and they will stay there for forever. Um, but the next hack I have for you guys is very similar to the Pinterest one. It is, if you end up running out of Google Photos and you know you still have a lot of photos but not much storage, you can go on to Instagram and post all your photos to Instagram. I know it sounds really silly, but um, all you have to do is just have to make a private Instagram account. So I'm going to, you know, quickly go and do that. Okay, just setting up my account. And here it is. I'm not going to be using this account, so I just you know wanted to show you guys but then you can go ahead and post all the photos you want onto your instagram and you can caption it whatever i just captioned mine photo dump one and if you take a lot of photos of one place you can post them onto either instagram or pinterest because who needs 10 billion photos of the beach right because i know i don't and if you want to get rid of that storage, you can just go ahead and post them here. If you also take a bunch of photos of yourself and you want to keep them all, but it takes up a lot of your storage, you can post them here and they will still stay here if you ever need them. And I really find this hack useful. I've only used this once, but I've been thinking about this for a while because my storage, obviously, I don't have much and I have a lot of apps that take up a lot of storage, but... I just, you know, I thought, I was just sleeping and I thought of this hack, you know, it was a very late night hack. And I think it works really well. I don't know why my photos aren't posting. It's okay. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my three tricks that I use to minimize my storage. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!